Yep. So don't get mad if I have a few negative things to say like everybody did on the cruise video. So we're here on this strip where all the party, party, ing, party, ing. Okay, let me start over. Hi everyone, we are here in Cancun going to spend some of the last days of our Mexico vacation here in Cancun. So our first stop in Cancun is the famous Cancun sign, which is getting a little crazy over there. But we got our picture, which ended up with this one. Um, and there's the, the signs like at a beach, it's called Playa de Finas, so the Finas Beach. And the beach here is also really pretty. So we're debating whether or not we're gonna come back here and do this beach instead of our resort beach. But just continue to tag along with us as we explore Cancun, both the all-inclusive that everybody comes here for mm -hmm. and the downtown city of Cancun. So we're here on the strip where all the partying happens. We got a uh, hard rock in front of me. We had senior frogs. We have a lot of small vendors for food. It's, it's a lot of fun, a lot of colors. Uh, I mean, that's pretty much ever, ever very colorful. Very colorful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, it's for tourists. And so they try to invite people in, the party, drink, restaurants, and all these well-known names that it's very, um, like, what's the word, like, very, I'll figure out the word after I talk to Rob as I'm trying to explain what I'm thinking. But yeah, it's definitely something different to come down here and, and walk around. Walking the strip, we are actually going to go to see New York Frog. And I know that it's so stereotypical, but we're going to go have a yard. Thick. Pino Calada. It's so crazy because in the middle of all this, there is this one little street where it yep. just seems like a local local bazaar. Yep. And there's like like a few like food vendors there. So we're actually gonna try to have lunch and like hop to the vendors and try Mexican like authentic street food. Um, because I think it's important, you know, we were in Tulum and Tulum has very like upscale restaurants and a lot of variety, but not necessarily like authentic Mexican. Yep. So we're gonna try that and boom, streak vendor hop. <laughs> just finished up a quesadilla de queso and a uh, burrito de pollo. Uh, they were both delicious. We were planning on stopping and eating at at least three to five, um, but after the second burrito, there wasn't a ton of room left for me to start continuing to uh, eat down the strip, but they had like six, maybe six to eight different vendors that you could go to, and everybody had a little bit of a variation. Obviously, it's all going to be uh, authentic and Mexican food. Um, it was pretty cool, very relaxed, very laid back. A lot of locals, um, which is, uh, you know, for us, uh, probably the best part of most trips that we take is you know, trying to spend some time with the locals where we can. Uh, obviously, we're in the middle of Cancun, so it's only going to be as local as it can be um, from that perspective, but really, uh, really just relaxing. And, and, and the food was absolutely delicious, as it always is. Um, the burrito was 
uh, was awesome though. Uh, both were good, the burrito was awesome. So we made it to our resort, which is obviously an all-inclusive. A lot of the all-inclusive have beach of their own. So we're gonna be spending some time here. We've never been to an all-inclusive before, but honestly, it literally reminds me of our experience at the cruise, <laughs> on the cruise ship. Um, same type of people, kind of same expectations and, and things like that. Um, we're waiting for our room to be cleaned or to be finished to be cleaned before we either jump in the pool or, or water. Yep. So don't get mad if I have a few negative things to say like everybody did on the cruise video. Yeah. Um, I, I think you guys know from our cruise video that type of um, experience wasn't necessarily for us. We love, love Tulum and Tulum is like super seeding like this by so so much mm -hmm. um but yeah we're we're still gonna enjoy we've obviously paid for this for our last few days for this uh travel experience so we're gonna enjoy it like it should be in the water on the beach the waves are pretty crazy there's seaweed mocking me in the distance <laughs> the water's pretty blue but yet still kind of cloudy out here can't really see much under but it's still really nice until the seaweed touches it You have to eat at one of their restaurants. So usually what happens is that they have buffet options or they have sit-down dinners just like the cruise. So ours have specialty restaurants from Italian, French, Mexican, steakhouse. And we're doing our steakhouse tonight and we got crab cakes and chicken wings. An appetizer each. They have like a hype open and they were doing like games, yep. music, Kana, you know, all sorts of crazy <laughs> going on in here. Um, but I definitely think while you're in Cancun and you're staying on an all-inclusive resort, you really should really take advantage of the options they have here. They have buffets, they have specialty restaurants. Mm -hmm. uh, Our specifically, for example, has from like Mexican, Italian, French, mm -hmm. beef, American, American, and then. Today, for example, was considered like an old Wild Quest yep. steakhouse. Um, the food is very mediocre, so don't expect like five more. No. Um, but at least it's included. So it's like super affordable, which is why we're eating at the resort almost every day. Okay. Um, resorts also have like the activities and amenities, mm -hmm. um, including mini golf. Mm -hmm. So if, if, we could find the golf clubs and the golf balls. We'll be playing mini golf. Uh, so let's continue to explore during this night our resort and take advantage. I don't know if everybody could see the thing floating away in the water. <laughs> we got Tiger Woods over here. <laughs> We had a great day in Cancun. Uh, if you have an opportunity to enjoy the nightlife, uh, please get down to the Strip and do that. Uh, there's a lot of really cool bars and uh, clubs that you can go see, uh, especially on, on the weekends. It gets pretty crazy down there. Uh, we spent a little bit of time in the Coco Bongo, which uh, initially, not really our style. Uh, once we got in, uh, totally flipped us around. The show was great. Uh, Everybody was having a good time. Uh, just really uh, make sure you get get in there and and and, and do that. I would also uh, make sure you do all the things that uh, Cancun has to offer. I mean, the all inclusive is a beautiful thing from you know relaxing and drinks and food and having everything in one area. But Cancun has so much to offer from 
uh, jet skiing to snorkeling to zip lining to uh, 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 diving to to you know pretty much everything related to water. They have the hang gliding thing, I guess, uh, on the water too, which is pretty cool. But uh, I would make sure that you get some time and uh, and do all those things because there's just really so much to see here, and, and it's worth it. Um, but that's it for us. We're all set here, ready to go home. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and let's travel together in the next one.